In today's video, I will teach you how to create a cubed icon or logo in GIMP. Let's get started. The first step is loading your icon. First, open GIMP and load your image icon. Go to Filters, Map, then Map Object. In the dialog box, select Box from the drop-down list. Then check the Transparent Background option to allow for adding your own background later. Now click on the Orientation tab, then use the sliders to adjust the angle of your cube. Experiment to find the best look for your icon and make sure to enable live update to preview your adjustments, though it may be slow with large images. Now we're going to adjust the lighting. To do this, go to the Lighting tab and tweak the settings until you achieve the desired effect. Then click OK to apply the changes. GIMP will create your cube with your icon on each face. And to add a shadow, first you have to auto-crop the cube layer and export it. Then open the new GIMP window with a canvas that is larger than your cubed image. Add the cubed icon by going to File, then open as layer. Then create a new transparent layer below the cube layer. Then select the Paths tool and outline the cube by clicking at each corner. Then hide the cube layer and make the transparent layer active. Now choose selection from path and fill the shape with black using the bucket fill tool. Now select the perspective tool from the toolbox. Then adjust the shape of your shadow by dragging the corners of the grid. Then reposition as needed by dragging the central circle. Then click Transform to apply the changes. Now go to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. And set the blur radius to your preference. Now adjust the opacity of the shadow layer until it looks right. And to round up the corners, use the eraser tool to gently round the exterior corners. Then zoom in for better position. To add a background, Create a new layer for the background and place it below all other layers. Now you have a cubed icon with smooth edges and a shadow. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.